where do I go from here? Oh, this one's a hard video to make. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lydia. This one is a really difficult video for me because I have been on my journey for so long. I have been on this keto lifestyle of mine for this summer will be five years on a journey to a healthier me. And what I have decided to do, I feel like it's time to pivot. What that means for me is stepping away from the keto lifestyle. Um, why this is so hard for me is because I've been doing it for almost five years. I have gone down the rabbit hole of the community within keto and carnivore. I've done all the research. I have literally immersed myself in this lifestyle with my sole purpose and goal of getting to a goal weight, a, a healthier size for me. I started off my journey at 265 pounds. The lowest I saw was about 170, I would say 168 to 170. And that was at the end of November, three years ago in 2021. And since then, I have slowly gained a little bit of weight back. I think I've gained about 20 pounds in the past couple of years and not without trying. I mean, I had been trying actively to lose weight. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you've seen me try doing the beef, butter, bacon and eggs, uh, BBB and E challenge, the carnivore challenge. Um, and, and you've seen my struggles on this journey so far. And I think as I've actively lose weight or try to lose weight, there's nothing more frustrating than doing all the things that used to work in the past that no longer work for me. It, it was a really hard, hard decision. Like I, I was even debating whether or not to even make this video. I was like, maybe I just kind of disappear or end the channel and just kind of crawl under a rock of shame and guilt and embarrassment. But what I decided to do, it's like, no, this is this is part of my journey. I, another th idea that I had was, let me go figure it out. Let me go figure out what works for me. And then I'll come back and tell you all about my success. And I was like, well, after the fact, you know, so it's like, no, this is all part of the journey. And it, it was just really hard to come to terms with the fact that I was going to move on from this. Um, and try something else. I was never doing keto or carnivore for any other health reason. Like I wasn't trying to get rid of psoriasis. I wasn't pre-diabetic. I wasn't anything that I needed healing from other than my goal of losing weight. And I feel like as time went on and maybe my body kind of got used to uh, the keto lifestyle, maybe my hormones kind of kicked in as the years have gone by and have made it more difficult for me to lose weight. I just know that the things that used to work in the beginning that helped me lose all that weight in the beginning, eating the same foods and doing the same things just to no longer get the same results. And I could either keep buckling down, making myself miserable, going, you know, stressing myself out, trying to crack the code of whatever this keto carnivore lifestyle and how it works for me. Or I just accept the fact that it's time to pivot and, and try something new, which it's really, 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 really difficult and hard for me to come to terms with that choice, mainly because I immersed myself in the world. I've gone down that rabbit hole of learning all about this lifestyle and I have made it a part of my identity, my social media, my family, my friends. Um, it has become a part of who I am and when you no longer want that to be part of you, it's hard to let it go and it's shameful. You feel guilty about how to separate yourself from it uh, and if you should or if you know you should, how? How do you do that? Um, it really is very similar to me with my 
previous career as an actor. Like that was what I did ever since I was four years old. I moved to Hollywood and I was living there in LA working as an actor for 10 years in TV and film and that was part of who I was. That was my identity. I was the actress in the family. I was the actress with all of my friends. I was, I was known as the actor. And so when I decided I didn't want to do it anymore, the hardest, the hardest part of all of that was making the decision to step away from it, letting go of that part of my identity and pivoting and trying to find a new path that's going to make me more successful and happy. And I found myself in a very similar position with this lifestyle because it's like it became an identity. I was going to KetoCon, I was meeting all the people, I was trying to dive deeper and become an A student in this lifestyle and I realized like it's no longer working for me anymore and how do I shed this part of my identity and pivot again to a happier, healthier lifestyle. I realized with my life with keto, it's progressively got more unhealthy with me, my mindset. I found myself not wanting to do anything, go anywhere, celebrate people's birthdays. I've had, I, I developed severe food issues around this to where I can't have this, I can't have that. This is, you know, I was putting morality, morality on food. And I, I started to realize that as I'm doing this all in front of my children, my kids who are watching me and seeing the decisions I'm making regarding food, that is this the healthiest choice for me? Are they seeing me at my best? And that's when I realized like, okay, I know it's scary. I know you're probably gonna lose a lot of followers or a lot of people who don't understand or think you're quitting or whatever, but you have to do what's best for you. You can't, if, if what they are doing is working for them, then fantastic, so happy for them. <laughs> but it's no longer working for you and you can only worry about what you're doing and what's healthy for you. And I, I've decided to step away from the keto lifestyle um, and the low carb lifestyle. It, it's been what I've been doing for so long. There, there's. It's not to say I won't go back to maybe low carb sometimes here and there, but I think I'm, I'm really trying to fix whatever issues that I have with food here before I can do it here and here. <laughs> so I'm trying to get to a healthier place uh, with my relationship with food and try to heal that from the inside out. My last weigh-in, as you saw, I was at 188. And like I said, my lowest was about 168, 170. So I have since gained 20 pounds while trying to lose weight and you know I, I feel like you know this is a good starting point and to transition and it's hard it's hard to transition from one extreme lifestyle to something else I'm not trying to go from one extreme to another I'm just trying to go from one extreme to balance for me um, I'm still going to be check you know tracking my macros and making sure that i am moving more and trying to eat a more balanced and healthier lifestyle for me so what's going to work for me in my daily life it was great when when it was working for me i was very 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 happy and impressed and people were wowed and it was like wow yeah this is amazing when it was all working for me but when I noticed that it stopped working for me. I think the hardest part was just kind of in my head throwing in the towel because I didn't want to give up. I didn't want to just like say, forget it, let's try something new because I felt like I'd done that my whole life. I've always been trying to figure out what works for me. I'll try this, I'll try that until something felt like it stuck. And this felt like it stuck until it stopped sticking. And then now it's like, where do I go from here? Eventually, probably the next video or two I will be changing my handle on YouTube to just Lydia's journey because this is all part of my journey it might include um, weight loss it might not um, I just think having it specific like ketosis focus um, when I'm no longer focusing on my ketosis uh, I, I felt like it was probably time to to kind of move on from that handle and change things up so if you start to see a new name uh, connected to this channel that is what it's for and that's where I'm at now I'm on a day one of a new 
healthy lifestyle for me and I will share that in upcoming videos of what that is what that's looking like for me it may work it may not I may have to tweak some things as I always have done on this journey to what works best for me um, but it's a discovery phase for me the hardest part I'm, I'm noticing now is transitioning my mind to all protein and fat to not um, especially with my macros shifting that the way that they are to kind of have it more of a balanced carb, uh, fat, and protein ratios that um, I, I find myself struggling not to have high fat. It, it just has been my go-to to do steaks and beef and uh, uh, fatty cuts of chicken and pork. And so now I'm leaning now towards the leaner meats and stuff. So that is where I am today. Um, I'm scared. I'm scared for you to leave me a comment. <laughs> if you're going to be encouraging and motivating and share love, please post it in the comments below. If this really, really bothers you that I am pivoting, I thank you for coming along for the ride. And I understand if you're going to show yourself out the door. But for those of you who have been my support system through and through and have been a friend, even though we don't know each other personally, I thank you for going along on this ride and invite you to continue to go along uh, and see where this new road leads me. That is it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.